Solving quadratic equations using graphs and tables, part four. Last time, we covered an equation that had only one solution instead of two. And I promised that today I would cover an equation that has no solution for y. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, please click here and look uh, at the first couple of minutes of that video because there are some rules that I covered in uh, part one regarding quadratic equations and how to plot them. Um, anyway, so this is the uh, equation that we have right now. And basically what we do in solving these equations, we set y equals zero. Okay, like I said, we uh, the per easiest number would be zero, one, and negative one for x. So we put x, y, and then we put one, zero, and minus one. Okay, you put one for x in this equation. So we have one, plus three times one is three plus seven is 11. So for one, we have 11 for y. Now if we plug in zero for x, zero plus zero plus seven equals seven. When x is 0, y is 7. Now, when x is minus 1, we have minus 1 squared is 1 plus 3 times minus 1 plus 7 equals 1 minus 3 plus 7. So that's equal to 5. So 3 minus 7 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So let's just plot these three points and see what it looks like. I have them right here. And I highlight these and say insert. Take them in the chart. This is it. All right, looks like this is a, uh, your U is going up here and coming down. So we need to go down on the numbers on X. We need to go negative two, negative three, negative four to see what it's gonna look like. All right, so we go back. So always try these three, one, zero, minus one. You get an idea what your curve looks like and then you can figure out whether you need to go down as a negative or higher as in positive right now we know the higher we go we're getting farther away from the x-axis we want to get closer to the x-axis so let's just go negative and see what happens all right so we go minus two. Minus two square is four plus three times minus two plus seven. We got four minus six plus seven equals that's one equals five. Ooh. So that means we're almost, we're at the bottom of the curve. But let's just see. Five. And then let's go minus three. Minus three squared is nine. Plus three times three. Is three times minus three. Plus seven. 
So we got 9 minus 9 plus 7 equals 7. Oh, yeah. So as we go in lower on x, your y is increasing. Uh, let's pick up another. Okay, let's put 7 here. Let's go one more. 4. So 4 square or minus 4 square is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 3 minus 4 plus 7. Okay, we got 16 minus 12 plus 7. So that's 4. It's equal 4 plus 7 is 11. Yeah, it looks like it's going up. So it's never going to cross the x-axis. Let's plot this. All right. All right, highlight, go insert, charts, that looks good. There you go, see, we started here, go down, we did minus one, then minus two, minus three, minus four. Minus four, we have 11. So it's never gonna cross the x-axis. That means there's no solution to this equation for y. So uh, we can't have y equals to zero with this curve. So that's the uh, final video. Uh, if I see any uh, other scenarios, maybe upside down, if you need any help or any other questions, just shoot me a, a email and I'll cover it. I think this would be the last uh, video on this quadratic equations with uh, curves and tables. Um, I'll see you on the next subject. Thank you.